My name is Steve McLaughlin. I'm the war tech inspector for the RMT. We're here at Portion RC Indoor Carpet Track for the 2013 Roar Carpet National. We'd like to thank Al Saldano for letting us come to this facility, very nice facility here. What we're going to do today is show you a 190 millimeter touring car tech inspection that you might expect to see at a national event. We've got Al Sedano's car here that we're going to show you here, very nice vehicle. The first thing we'll start out with is we put the car on a level surface. And we check the ride height. We don't want the car very low just to hang up on the carpet. And the minimum ride height for the touring car class is 5 millimeter. This is a 5 millimeter plate. Simply take it and slide it underneath the car, side to side and front to back. And it shouldn't hang up or move the car at all. But this car is doing fine. After that, we'll take the car and run it through this dimensional box. The first step is it's got to slide in the box, roll in without hanging up, hanging up or snagging in. At that point, we have some 20 millimeter blocks built into this box that will raise the car up 20 millimeter to get the tires off of the surface. At that point, there's several measurements we'll take. The first one being the roof height. The minimum height has got to be so many millimeters up from the 20 millimeter blocks. We simply look for the roof to touch this bar when I slide it over, which this car does. And that will be legal. Then we'll take this, this is a 55 millimeter disc and what we want it to do is to pass along the rear of the body and this body can be no higher than 55 millimeters from this surface right here, which is okay there too. Then we've got several wing measurements we have to take. This is a cord and side dam template that we use. The side dams have to fit through this window. This slides over the river, that's, that's okay. And this side is okay too. The cord measurement is from the trailing edge to the leading edge of the wing. And here again, we want this template to slide over it without hanging up or staying anywhere, which there again, it does just fine. There's one more measurement that we do on the electric turning cars. And that's back here at the back. This trailing edge of this wing will be no more than 10 millimeters behind the rear bumper of the body. And what I'll do is I'll take, start out taking the straight edge and putting it to the back of the body and just touch the rear edge of the wing. What I'm looking for is if there's anything more than 10 millimeters from the farthest part of the rear body which by visual inspection, I can tell Al's got his wings pretty far forward. If it looked like it was hanging out pretty far, this is a 10 millimeter plate that I will put back here at the back of the body and touch the rear body, and then see if I can touch the wing while it's back there, which as you can see right there, he's got about almost nine millimeters of gap, but he's okay in that respect. Also on the turning cars, we also look, want them to have headlight and real detail decals. I look for that. And in the rear, those taillights that need to be put on. We like that to add realism to the cars. There is a body inspection process where we have a approval list for various bodies. And we look on the list to make sure the body's on that approval list. And if it is, we apply this floor. Uh, sticker for visual identification that the body has passed body inspection. Okay, at this point, we'll take the car out of the box and we're going to check the minimum weight. 190 turning cars, the minimum weight is 1380 grams. But if you look at it this way, this car is 1398 for satisfying the car. A few more checks here that we'll do. Uh, since this is an electric car, 
we have a maximum battery voltage that the batteries can be charged to. On this particular car, the voltage is 8.40 volts. Anything more than 8.40 will be a immediate disqualification. The, the driver will not get to run his qualifier. And what I'll do, it's going to be hard for you to see, but I'll get in here and try to get on the battery and do a voltage check, open circuit voltage check on it. Let me lay it on the side here. I think it's going to be like this way. This battery's a little soft. It's at 7.92 volts, but that is legal. It can be legal to run at that voltage. Also, while I have it here, we can do what's called a battery temperature check. We don't want the batteries. Some people are heating their batteries up, which can cause a safety issue. And so we require that the batteries be no more than five degrees over the ambient temperature of the building or outside or wherever we're at. I'll simply take a uh, infrared scan thermometer and take a scan reading of the battery. Right now he's showing 65 degrees and it's a pretty early in the morning here, which that's going to be pretty close to what it is, so he, he's okay in that respect. Also, we can check the motors sometimes. Uh, we don't want people freezing the motors to cool them off before they go out. Here again, his is about ambient at 65, which is perfectly fine. Also, something else uh, we look for, it might be hard to see in this video. You're allowed one fan on the vehicle for the motor, but the fan can be no more than 30 millimeters in diameter. Uh, just by visual check, that looks like a legal fan. Usually you can tell the large ones and we'll do a caliper check if they look like they're too large. The only other thing we might be looking for is at a national event. We'll have, sometimes we will have uh, stated products that the driver can use on spec tires. Uh, in this case, if it's just a race, we are using a spec tire for the touring car. Before the drivers go out, they will buy their tires and we will put stickers on the inside of the tires that are serial numbers. The drivers are only allowed three sets of tires for the race weekend, so we will check to make sure that they're using the tires that they bought that are assigned to their vehicle. And here again, it's going to be hard to show, but he'll have stickers on the inside of his tires that we've applied earlier in the day. And we will get over here with a flashlight and we have a list of the numbers that we uh, assigned to this driver. And we will check to make sure he has the proper tires on his cars and is not borrowing tires from somebody else or swapping tires between cars, etc. Uh, after that, He's pretty much ready to go in the 190mm period part class. Thank you for your viewing. We'll see you at the races.